Hello and welcome to the first in the second series of Parasport Powered by Toyota Home Workout Series. My name is Miranda, I'm a prosthetic charge physiotherapist and I work in research for facilitating physical activity for people with amputation. My colleague today is Kira, CEO and founder of Limpower. Kira is going to do the standing versions and I'm going to do a chair version of some agility exercises. You don't need any equipment except maybe a chair to help you balance a little bit and make sure you're nice and solid on the floor if you're in the chair. So if you're standing make sure your weight is equally between your feet. If you sat between your buttocks and the first thing we're going to do is use our tummy muscles. So I want you to pull them in and relax and pull in and relax and do that a couple of times. You can see that should help you sit or stand up a little bit straighter and then we're going to pull in and hold and relax and pull in and nothing else is moving. We're just pulling in the stomach muscles and relax. Then we're going to look at our shoulder position. So rolling back down and pulling the shoulder blades together and relaxing. And again, back down, shoulder blades together and relax. And again, feel the postural dis difference as you sit up straight or stand up straight. And then pull your tummy muscles in as well and relax everything and pull in tummy, shoulders, and then relax and we're just going to add the buttock so you want to try and clench them as tight as you can so shoulders back stomach in clench those buttocks and hold it and we're going to try and use that as our central posture before we start our exercises so we know these muscles are getting engaged Okay, toe taps. So we're going to start with just um, moving your weakest leg so that you can balance on your stronger leg. If you don't have a stronger leg, then pick a side. And all we're going to do is start with that good posture, summing in, shoulders down, buttocks clenched, and try and lift that foot and point it forward and bring it back again. So lifting extending the leg as far as you can working in your own range of motion at your own speed this is about being able to hold that central position hold that balance the trunk doesn't move and working in your own range of motion so if you can get your legs all the way out fantastic if it's just slight tips forward it's also great we're working those muscles we're using that agility and then we're going to try and swap over to the other side. So again, pulling all the muscles in, nice posture, use balance if you need to, and lifting and tapping forward with the other leg. Just getting everything warmed up. We're really thinking about our trunk and trying to control the movement. It's not a fast movement, it's a controlled movement to the best of our ability. Lovely, we'll just do two more taps on that side. One more. And relax. Okay, disco glide. So we're going to think about which is our stronger leg and balance on that one first and move the other one. So again, Get your strength through the center, pull those tummy muscles in, shoulders down, and you're going to put weight through that balancing leg and lift the opposite leg and take it out and bring it back in again. And again, we're using all those central muscles and we're trying not to move the trunk while we do the step out, step in. We're going to do it two more times and we're going to swap sides. So step out, step in, step out, step in, and we're going to try and swap over. So again, make sure you're nice and balanced. Lift the off other leg up now and take it out to the side. And again, in and out. And trying as much as we can to control that trunk movement. And a couple more. Holding everything tight, stomach tight in. And then we're going to move to the gliding motion. So back to the first leg. Take it out to the side. Transfer your weight over 
and lift the other leg to meet it and then go back the way you came. So lift that leg, transfer the weight, feet together. Separate, transfer, feet together. Again, this isn't about speed, it is about control. So go at your own pace. Make sure you're comfortable, you're safe and you're balanced. And every so often, check in with those stomach muscles. Make sure they're still engaged and you're still controlling what your trunk is doing. We're gonna do three more. One, two, three, and relax. Okay, Superman. So you might have seen this in a few different formats. Um, it's not uncommon to do it on your hands and your knees, but today we're going to do Kira standing and me in the chair, so there will be some slight differences. You might want a chair to hold on to for this one if you're standing up. We're going to start by using those stomach muscles and getting that really nice, solid, upright position. So a lot about balance, so think about which leg you're going to balance on first. And we're going to keep one leg solid on the floor. And the other, we're just going to start with a little lift. So Kira's going to move it a little bit backwards, and I'm just going to start doing little kick outs and using those stomach muscles to lift the leg and extend at the knee, while Kira's using her bottom muscles to just get that started, but her stomach to keep her stable. And then as we feel comfortable, we can start to bring the leg a bit further. So again, I'm kicking to a full extension, whereas Kira's lifting the leg behind her and bring her torso forward so she's in a straight line while I'm trying to sit up nice and straight. Okay, and then we'll find the top of our range of motion. So I'm gonna try and kick all the way out. Kira's gonna try and bring that leg all the way up. But if you're not as high as us, don't worry, just work your own ability range. And if we're comfortable with that controlled motion, we want to start using the arm. So we're going to go opposite arm to leg, I'm moving the right leg, so I'm going to use the left arm, and at the top of motion, I'm going to put the arm right next to my ear. So when the leg's up, the opposite arm is up, and then control back down again. And then we're going to try and hold that for five seconds. So leg goes up, stomach muscles engaged, arm goes up, and hold five, four, three, two, one, and control back to the beginning. And then we're going to try and do lifts on the opposite leg. So this might mean you're balancing on your weaker leg. So really think about that. That's the point of the exercise, that control. Hold the muscles in and start lifting. Just little lifts so you can feel your control to start with. And then as you get that control, going for a bigger range of motion, getting the leg further up, either kicking out forward or behind you. And then if you've got that lovely control, you're going to try and get the opposite arm again up by your ear when you're at the top of the motion. So move the leg to its maximum, arm by the ear, and nice control back to the beginning. And then we're going to do the five second hold. So leg to its maximum, arm up. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And then we're going to do three on each side. So pick whichever leg you want to, to start with. Make sure you're using your stomach muscles. Leg up, arm up. Five, four, three, two, one. Control back down and swap side. So leg up, arm up. And we're going five, four, three, two, one. Control back. Make sure you're still using those stomach muscles. Opposite leg up, arm, five, four, three, two, one, control. And again, opposite leg up, arm goes up, five, four, three, two, one, and last one on each side. So up we go, maximum, hold the stomach, five, four, three, two, one, control, and very last one, leg up, arm up, five, four, three, two, one, control, 
and relax. High knees. So, again, stomach muscles engaged, nice posture. And what we're going to start with is just lifting the feet off the floor. So you're not worrying about how high you're getting. We're just getting those hips moving to start with. And as you feel comfortable, you're trying to get higher and higher. You're aiming in standing to get your knees as high as your hips but just work within your own range. It's really a lot of stomach and thigh work and you're really thinking about what your trunk's doing. In seated, if you can't lift it up at all, just aiming at the motion and feeling the muscles on the top of your thigh working, we're getting that workout. So we want to get higher and higher if we can. And moving from side to side, getting that marching motion in. So, being a physio, I want to make it a little bit harder. You're using everything you have to try and sit up straight, use all the muscles of your trunk, but we want to get the arms involved. So stopping the legs for a second, we're going to practice our arms. What you want to do is take one arm up, bent at the elbow, elbow at shoulder height, and then bring it behind you, still with the elbow bent. And at the same time, the opposite arm's going to come forward, bent at the elbow. And as the one arm goes forward, the other goes back. And we're going to try not to move the trunk too much when we're doing this. Just have that arm marching motion. And if we're happy with that, we can try and get the legs involved. So put the first arm up again and bring the opposite knee up in a straight line. And then as you swap arms, swap legs. So do this as slowly as you need to, getting that coordination in there, agility. And it's not about speed at this point at all. We are just trying to control our movement. So getting a nice march arms and legs going, you feel a bit of your chest muscles involved here. And then we're going to try and add in a crunch. So relaxing again. What we're going to do this time is take the arm up as before. Then as the opposite knee comes up, we're going to reach towards that knee. And then swap over and do the opposite side. So we're swapping and crunching. If you can't do the cross motion, that's okay. You just want to twist your body and start getting those stomach muscles a little bit more involved in the movement. We're trying to march and crunch and get a little stomach crunch sneaked into that marching motion. Okay, a couple more. And then we can start to slow down and relax. Okay, cool down. So we're just going to start from the head and work down today. So we're going to take the left ear towards the left shoulder and then the right ear towards the right shoulder. And we're just going to gently rock back and forth. Should feel a little stretch, but it shouldn't be painful. And then we're going to move from that to looking to your left and your right. So getting that twist in and getting that stretch. Again, it shouldn't be painful, only moving your own range of motion and then we're looking up and down getting the stretch in the back and the front of the neck and you should feel it across the top of your shoulders and then we're going to roll the shoulders rolling back feeling that lovely crunching easing off the shoulders and then rolling forward And then we're going to bring our hands forward and interlink and try and separate those shoulder blades out. And then taking the arms over the head. So you stretch your whole back. So this is a lot of the muscles we've been using. So take it to one side if you can, gentle stretch. And hold it there. And take it over to the other side. And hold it there. 
and we're going to go back to the first again and get that stretch down the side some of those muscles you've been using today and one last time back the other way and then back to the middle get those arms down and just to stretch the hips we're going to try and touch our toes so make sure you balance for this it's not about actually touching your toes it's about trying to get your stomach to your thigh and folding in half and feeling that stretch across the back of your legs just hold it there if you're standing you can just hang feel that stretch and back up if you want to do the repeated stretches you can like kira up and down or you can do a hold like i did um that's that's all for today thanks for watching take care keep active and hopefully we'll see you again soon